The federal government has been under fire for not doing enough to help people left without homes and jobs after the floods in the state's north. Today, ministers announced another three quarters of a million dollars in disaster funding. That's on top of a billion dollars already promised. But residents and businesses have been left scratching their heads, trying to work out how to get their hands on any of the money. Stress levels are rising for Shirley and Troy Matthews. The aluminium and glass business lost a million dollars worth of stock in the floods. They are desperate to rebuild, but are having trouble working out how to access government grants. We have really no idea how to get funding, what's available. I think we've heard of you to spend the money before you get it, but you have to have the money to spend it. How do we do that? The Federal Minister for Emergency Management says help is on the way. So there is significant support uh, going in to these communities and into families uh, to ensure that we stand with them uh, through these very difficult times. The latest funding includes $150 million for primary producers, $142 million in grants to demolish ruined properties, $80 million for small businesses who've lost more than 40% of their income, and $50 million to help large employers keep people in jobs. We will continue to work toward uh, making sure that our communities, our individuals and families have all of the support they need. The opposition has accused the government of failing to deliver on its promises. It should not be an acceptable situation that there are still people who are waiting for somewhere to stay overnight, that there are still people who are waiting for the support to come through. $10 million of government money will be spent on a regional flood modelling project led by scientists from the CSIRO. Residents who've lived through flood after flood say it's long overdue. For 65 years, citizens have been making a desperate attempt to try and get something done that will make a difference. And we've never, ever gotten there. And this announcement today is just a relief. Less welcome was the news that a fire has knocked out mobile phone and internet reception. How many more obstacles and challenges do we need to keep facing? It's believed the blaze in Mullumbimby was deliberately lit. Bronwyn Herbert, ABC News, Lismore.